You're watching Way to Play Defensive Back. I'm Tariq Woolen, Pastor Tan the second. I'm Jair Alexander. DBs on me, DBs on three, one, two, three. With offenses using more and more wide receivers, it is important to have a strong defense to stop the passing game. One way to have a strong defense is to build around your defensive backs that make up the defensive secondary. Hey, let's have fun today, let's have fun today. Playing a position is so fun because in the NFL, shoot, whenever you get an interception or a takeaway, the football gets to take it home. Tariq Woolen makes the interception. DB is fun because can't many people do it. Intercepted, Jair Alexander. Defensive backs are the last line of defense in preventing a touchdown. Still rolling, throwing, and it's intercepted. It is intercepted at the goal line. I got me one. <laughs> they say a great defensive back has similar traits, intelligence, vision. Your eyes are in the right spot. Anything downfield, Good hands. You see that catch? Oh my God! Speed. 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 They're physical. You gotta have great technique. That's what DB is all about. And the best ones got that dog in. You are a dog, bro. And this Cam Dantzler stole it from him. That's exactly what it looks like, Cam Dantzler. Before you can do anything, you gotta have confidence so you can compete versus any guy that you line up against that's out there. We making plays, bro. Take your mindset, bro. Energy. Energy. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> there are two types of defensive backs, cornerbacks and safeties. The number of defensive backs and where you are lined up will be determined by what coverage you're playing. A man-to-man -man, is mano only mano, one-on-one, win the rep against the other receiver. Or a zone defense. A uh, zone coverage is everybody on the field, all 11 guys on the defensive side of the ball has their own zone where they got to drop to and defend. Once you get the play call in the huddle, you will line up across from the offense. Cornerbacks will line up directly across from a wide receiver. Corner is man in your face. Corner, you know, he locks in and you know, he's got his own side of the field. And the safeties will line up usually 10 to 15 yards away from the line of scrimmage. Safety, he's basically you know, the controller of the defense, you know, he makes the calls, make the adjustments for the secondary. Look up! Look up! Hey, watch the ball! Line up across from the wide receiver in an athletic stance. It will allow you to react quickly to the wide receiver. And as a DB, you should have your feet shoulder width apart with your outside foot slightly back. You want to get a good knee bend, have one foot in front of the other, back kick with like a little smooth transition, you know, you gotta have your arms moving. Once the ball is snapped, it's your job to cover the wide receiver wherever he goes using proper technique. You don't wanna give up a big play. Tyreek Hill got behind everybody. And this is crazy, bro. If you're playing man-to-man -man defense, make sure to keep the wide receiver in front of you. Using your hands and press, because that, that disrupts the timing between the receiver and the quarterback. You had that 18 get touched all night. And that was Alexander who broke it up. Oh, he's got a little gritty. Now that you're covering the wide receiver, the QB might throw the ball in your direction. You have two options. You can create a pass breakup or PBU. Sauce Gardner in position on Gabe Davis. Knocks it away. That feels so good, man. That was an interception. Or intercept the pass. It is... Intercepted! And that's a pick! Yeah! You know, when the ball in the air, you know, it's yours or nobody's. Uh, my favorite interception was definitely against Mahomes. I cradled it with my form, you know, I cradled it in. You know, people ain't thought I caught it, but I did. <laughs> but no matter what you do, do not hit the wide receiver before the ball gets there. Hey, that was gonna be dangerous, you know that, right? That is a pass interference, and it's a big penalty. Pass interference the right call because he definitely gets there early. You just know it's a penalty when the crowd's silent after you just got a pick. And I'm like, wait a minute. The best way to defend a pass without getting a PI is just to focus on the ball rather than the receiver. That was beautifully covered. If you were not able to get to the ball before the wide receiver, you should try to create a PBU. Bomb down the right sideline, incomplete. That ball is tipped. The old tip drill, and that's what you teach your D-backs to do when they can't intercept it themselves. Tip it in the air. For your buddy. And if the receiver catches the ball, of course you want to immediately tackle him to stop the play. Tackle by Jonathan Jones as soon as he caught the football to the Lions will give it up on down. Yeah, boy. 
A lot of game. Now, if you feel like you can high point the ball before the wide receiver, you can try to make an interception. Give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball. My favorite interception this year had to be versus Tom Brady in Germany. I said, I got it, I got it. Having strong defensive backs can be the difference between a win and a loss for your team. Throwing, intercepted! Intercepted, David Long! Let's it's up to you and your fellow defensive backs to stop the other team's passing game. Those are the basics on how to play defensive back. Thanks for watching. Come back to watch more in-depth videos. And to see more videos, head to playfootballnfl.com.